Oh boy. I think this might be one of those... It is, isn't it? It's one of those games where... It doesn't give me resolution options. I have to just resize the window. <coughs> okay, then. If need be, I shall do so. And the game stopped detecting for some reason. Alright, there it goes. And the sound is ra strangely glitchy, and I'm not sure why. Not a good, not a good start. Neat. I am sorry about the sound glitching. I hope you guys, I don't know, are you guys hearing that yourselves? Alright. Maybe the sound glitching is intentional, I can't really tell. Uh. Damn it! Okay, there. Oh, small problem. One moment. I had to. I have to. Re I had to resize the window for a moment, just to get the, just to get the um, back button to be visible. That's not a good. So this doesn't really resize that well. Oh, it also likes to randomly disappear. Interesting. I guess back. All right. Let's just uh, let's just start this off. This seems a little bit spotty. Moon Resources Incorporation who have a really shitty name, hired you as a prospector to explore a small moon or a recently discovered planet. Aware that the moon's inhabited by hostile native and artificial... by hostile, hostile native and artificial life forms, MRC has equipped you with three primary weapons. Unlimited amount of beacons to be deployed close to re discovered resources, mining bots, and traveling gear. During your voyage, you can exchange an unlimited life form matter for ammunition for your weapon at any time. For each deposit found, MRC will award you a token that you can use to unlock new weapons in the MRC armory. Remember, Prospector, we spent a small fortune on your equipment and you get you there. Good luck and try not to die before find, finding any valuable resources. Moon Resources Corporation, because we really suck at finding names for our companies. It's like, what would I... Oh, what are you guys going to do? Well, we're going to get resources for the moon. Oh, what do you call yourselves? The moon Resources Corporation. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. I don't even know how I did that. Wow, this is this is one janky character model. Also, wow, I don't know about this. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to get used to this control uh, controller. By the way. First time using this controller, so can I jump or is that not a is that not a thing I can do? Okay, it's a flamethrower, it's a gun. Grenades are okay, so what? Okay, guess what jump is? Come on, take a guess. Somebody guess what the jump button is. I was trying to find it. No, jump is not down. Well, now I just spoiled it. So, you have to click in the left analog stick to jump. That is the weirdest jump button I've seen in a long time. I guess it technically works well enough, it's just, what the hell? It's like, what is it? What is this button? Alright, let's trigger it. Oh, shit. 
Oh, that's... Okay, I didn't realize those were harmful. Alright. That's not the most obvious thing. Excuse me. Um... What? I mean, yeah, I know. Okay, this is really... It's really janky how this thing moves. Hold on a second. Is this the... Okay, so admittedly, I'm using a new controller because my old one's A button is broken. So I'm not actually entirely sure... Hold on a minute. I'm going to test this. One moment. I have to know for sure. I have to know whether or not this controller I have been I've received to borrow. I need to know if it's a bad controller or if uh, it's the game. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's it's the game. I was wondering if the aiming was bad because of the controller I was using. No. It's definitely the game. It gets stuck. I don't know how to explain it. It also doesn't go up and down that high. It's controlled by the analog stick and it seems you have to force the analog stick quite hard to one side for it to actually pick up that you want to move it. In other words, these are not some not really the best controls. I guess one can also use the mouse. This game might be meant for the mouse more. Keyboard and mouse. Perhaps I will try that then. I mean, it's still just as janky though. It still gets stuck. Look at this. Watch it get stuck. Jumping makes more sense on keyboard. Alright. Also, hi there, Red. How's it going? I'm okay. Aside from the fact my good controller broke and I'm disappointed about it. Yeah, this is better on good keyboard. That's probably how this was meant to be played. Oh, there are any secrets up here. In here, I thought there would be. Oh well. That's grenades? How do you shoot the grenades? With... I don't know. I get that I don't want my shooting arc to be that big, but it still feels exceptionally awkward that I can't aim all the way. Like, I understand the gun just didn't shoot that far, but...
Yeah, it's a bit janky. Also, having to press E to pick up things is a little annoying, too. I guess you can, you can upgrade at these things then. All right. I mean, okay. So how many how many points do I have? Zero. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, those fights are, for some reason, very hard for me to see. Not sure why. Oh, wait. I can heal off them? Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So those are actually... So they hurt me, but if I destroy them, I can heal off them. Alright. sure that was. It's not really a secret, it's just I went on this other path and there was items. Okay, well, I guess if it's a secret, it's a secret. Also, the grenade arc is basically impossible control. Which isn't really the best, in my opinion. The definition of secret in this game is kind of interesting. One enemy I didn't kill earlier. Oh, never mind, there's one more enemy. Oh, it's okay, VJ. Um, hmm. 
I mean, this isn't the worst game in the world or anything. It's just... Mm, it's kind of janky. I mean, I like what it's... I like... It has some decent ideas. I like... I kind of like its aesthetic. But it's very janky about it all. Not really, the not really the best thing. Janky is never a good thing in video games. I think we can all agree on that. got an MRC point. Robot, just chilling. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. I think I missed a bit of that, actually. Oh, there's a cup. There's a thing up there. Wait, is the door already open? Or... I think I'm supposed to do something here. Oh, I can jump multiple times, I just realized. Hold on, babe. I assume they do, yes. Not sure.
I like how turning does that. Eh, if that's not the world. Cool. I will. I ate some, a lot of food earlier, so. All right, well, let's see here. Oh, I broke it. So you do shoot them. It's just, there's no, okay, hold on, wait. I'm gonna look at this one more time. I'm pretty sure though that, oh, there is feedback, okay. It's such a small target, I didn't think I was doing damage. So I had to start going ballistic on it just to find out. Oh, I do, I do, uh, I do destroy them, all right. Okay, here's the thing. I was shooting the rectangular parts. I didn't think that the the eye specifically had to be shot. I suppose that makes enough sense, but it's a very small target, so it's kind of hard to tell. I probably wasn't supposed to reach it this way, actually. But I did, so ha! Huh? Where even am I? I think I'm backtracked. I think I'm backtracking now, right? Find a lot of new stuff. Let's see. I guess they're technically open world, open world levels, more or less. Damn it. Reason. 
Ah, oh, yeah, so now we're back here. Okay. I mean, this is an okay game. Also, hi, hey, Draken, how you doing tonight? Oh no, it's a wheel. Oh, okay, that was a lot more of a drag noise for its death than I expected. any green spots? I, I don't know, actually. I've been kind of wandering around here. Let's see. I don't think I have. for a fuel. Of those catatous creatures. This game is close to being interesting, but it's not quite there. It's just too janky to be good. To be considered like a good game. It's not bad, but it's not it's not really gonna it's, it's you know what I mean, right? It's unpolished, that's the best word for it. The way everything moves and stuff, and I don't know. This definitely doesn't feel up to up to up to snuff for some games that I played. The right side? Nope, not quite. Need, need a few more.
not dying. That was dead. Not mad grenades. That's a little annoying. I probably should increase my grenade capacity or something. That was a little odd. Oof. This is certainly a decent game. Hi, Pa. Oh, wow, I'm almost out of ammo. You're right. Good point. I didn't even notice. You know, I don't like the fact that I have to press E to pick things up. I think I'm good. Uh, that was Orange Moon and my title is up anyways. Also, I can't apparently... Alright, let's we'll put the desktop then. Um... I mean, it's, it's janky. I don't like the pickup system. Why do I have to press E on everything? So this is $10. I feel like that's a little high. This is too janky for that price. <laughs> At least for a uh, platformer of this ilk. Maybe five, you know. It's not bad graphically, it's just not the most comfortable in play. Like, you saw me there. What I was trying to do was, I was out of grenades, I needed a grenade to kill that gun. There was a grenade sitting in front of the gun, so I tried to run over there and grab it without being in the line of fire too much. But I backed away before I had finished pressing E, so I didn't pick it up, so I had to go forward again and press E again, and then I died. If, if, it, if the pickups had just been, you pick it up and you're done, that wouldn't have been a problem, but because of how this was, yeah. So that's Orange Moon. Uh, it's okay. Not great, but it's okay. <laughs>